Hi! On the ACT, you'll need to know how to do percent problems. Most of those percent problems can be solved with just one equation, which is the part over a whole equals the percent over 100. And we'll show a couple different examples of how to use that equation. And then I've got six sample problems picked out um, from the ACT that we'll go over as well. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at percents and percent problems. So a percent is just a ratio out of 100. So if we're talking something like 13%, that's the same as 13 out of 100. So to find a simple percent, 6 is what percent of 8? We can take that ratio of part over a whole. So 6 divided by 8, we reduce that fraction and change it to a decimal, we get 0.75. So then as a percent, 0.75 as a percent, we've got to move the decimal point over two places to make it a percent. So 0.75 as a percent is going to be 75%. So just to go over some common percentages, um, just knowing these will, will help you solve things a little easier. One half or 0.5 is the same as 50%. One fourth or 0.25 is the same as 25 percent, one-fifth is the same as 20 percent, and then one-tenth is the same as 10 percent. Now multiples of 10 percent are easy to work with. Um, a lot of times we can do these in our head. So if we were to do 10 percent of 6, in order to do 10 percent we just need to move the decimal point back one because um, we're taking one-tenth. 10 percent is the same as one-tenth. So that's going to be 6. So then we can use that for other multiples as well. So 5%, if 10% is 6, then 5% is just going to be half of that, or 3. If we did 10% and 5%, we would get 15%, or 9. Just add the 6 and 3 and get 9. If 10% is 6, then 20% is going to be 12. We just double it. And if 10% is 6, then we can triple it to get 30%, or 18. So if you haven't got multiples of 10%, um, they're pretty easy to work with. Just figure out what 10% is first, and then take multiples from there. So in all problems that we have um, in doing percentages, they can all be solved with this one um, equation. So the part over the whole equals a percent over the hundred over 100. Now in some places you might have heard it that is over of some. Uh, teachers in some text uh, describe it as is over of. That's just because in a word problem, when you're talking about the part, it says is, and when you're talking about the whole, it says of. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So what is 20% of 40? So the way we would set up this is x over 40 equals 20 over 100. We don't know what the part is, so the part is x. The whole is 40. The percent is 20 and it's always over 100 for a percentage. So the is over the of, it says what is, so we don't know the is part. And the of, it says of 40. So that just gives you a, a little trick as far as what goes in the part and what goes in the whole. So whichever one helps, to, um, helps you to get this right is fine. So now to solve for x, we've got to cross multiply here. So we're going to multiply the x times the 100 and the 40 times the 20 and set them equal to each other. So we get 100x equals 800. To solve for that, we just divide by 100 and get x equals 8. All right, another version of the problem. 6 is 25% of what number? So we would set up 6. We know what the part is. Here, we don't know what the whole is. So the variable here is going to be in the denominator for the whole because we don't know of what number. And we do know the percentage is 25. And again, we cross multiply 25x equals 600, divide by 25, and we get x equals 24. And in the last problem, 10 is what percent of 50? So here we know the part in the whole. The part is 10, the whole is 50. What we don't know is the percent. So here we put the variable in for the percent. So x over 100, we cross multiply. And here we get 50x equals 1,000. Divide by 50, and you get the percent equals 
Okay, let's take a look at these six sample problems involving percents. On the first problem, we've got a $40 room rate, and we want to increase it by 22%. So we could um, multiply the 40 times 0.22 for 22% uh, to get us what the amount is that we're going to increase. So if we multiply that out, we're going to get $8.80 is the dollar amount that we need to increase. So that's going to bring us on top of the 40 or 48.80. So that's going to be J for our answer. We could also have done, done it this way, $40 times 1.22. Whenever we're looking to do a percent increase and get to the new number, we could put the 1 in, which includes the 40, and then the 0.22, which is the increase. So this would get us directly to 48.80. Either way, it gets us J for our answer. All right, in the next problem, if 40% of a given number is 8, then what is 15% of the problem? So let's do this in two parts. Let's first of all figure out this part here, what the given number is. So 40% of a given number is 8, so we can use the part over the whole equals percent over 100. So we're going to use our basic equation. So we've got 40%, and the part that is is going to be 8, and the of, or the whole, is what we're trying to find. So then we get 40x equals 800, divide 800 by 40, and we get x equals 20. So that's our given number. So then 15% of the given number. So now we just have to find 15% of the number that we just found, 20. So 15% of 20, or 0.15 times 20, which gets us 3. Our answer for this would be C. All right, so we have number of voters here, and we just need to know that there's 200 voters, right? So what percent of voters polled chose Whitney? So 30 chose Whitney, 30 out of 200. So we could divide that and get 0.15, which is 15%. We could also look at it too and say 30 out of 200 would be the same as 15 out of 100. So we also get 15% that way as well. So the answer here is gonna be 15% or answer A. Okay, 8% of 60 is one fifth of what number? Again, a two part thing. So let's first figure out the first part what is 8% of 60? So 8% is 0 0.08 times 60. Multiply those two out and we get 4.8. So then this just becomes 4.8. So 4.8 is 1 -fifth of what number? So we can look at this a couple different ways. So if it's one-fifth of the number, 4.8 is one-fifth, that means we've got to multiply by 5 to get what that number is. So 4.8 times 5 is going to get us 24, and our answer would be C. The other way we could do it, we could, if we wanted to look at this as percentages, we could do this as 20%. One-fifth is the same as 20%. So we could also write this as 4.8 is 20% of what number? And then we would just use our part over whole. Um, so we would get uh, 4.8 over, we don't know what the whole is, but we know that it's 20%. And again, we could cross multiply 20x equals 480, or x equals 24. Just a couple different ways to look at it.
Okay, we have a pie chart here, but it's in dollars, not percentages. And we want to find out um, which, for the greatest expense, well, first of all, the greatest expense is this one, clothes. And we have a total of 900. And we just want to convert that to a percent. So we want 254 is the amount spent on clothes. And 900 is the total expense of everything. So we just have to convert that to a fraction, divide that out, and we get 0.282 or 28.2%. So the closest one is gonna be B, 28%. Okay, and the last problem, uh, number increases by 25%. And then it decreases by 20%. Uh, we have to do this in two steps. And when we don't have a number, um, we could pick a number. The best number to pick when we're picking numbers for percentages is 100. So let's start with 100. It's gonna increase by 25%. So times 0.25 equals 25, so 100 plus 25, going to get us to 125. We could have also done 100 times 1.25 and got there in one step as well. So increasing it is going to get us to 125. Then we're going to take the 125 and decrease it by 20%. So 20% of 125 gets us 25. So if we decrease it, 125 minus our 25 gets us back to 100. So we started at 100 and got back to 100. So the final number is what percent of the original number? It's 100% of the original number. Choice C. Thanks for watching. If you have an ACT test coming up, good luck with it. Um, if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. I've got other suggestions of videos for you to watch right here. Uh, please comment below on things that you liked about the videos or ways that I can improve it. And thanks for watching and come back again soon.